Pratt-Nora, tons of other options are there. Here's what it looks like. So here's somebody's GitHub, Michael Pro, Promanet. Uh, you just highlight what you want to search, which would be his name, highlight it, click the Chrome extension, click the Chrome, there we go, and then you can select any one of those. You want to look at their GitHub, right on the GitHub, uh, if you want to look them up on LinkedIn, Stack, all these other sites, the Facebook one doesn't work right now, I'll have to get that fixed. Uh, but that's it, it like eliminates clicks. You don't have to copy the name, you don't have to go to the site, you do a search on the site, you don't have to go to Google, in, uh, site, all that kind of fun stuff, do the search, you don't have to do that, this just pulls it up directly for you right there. So again, eliminating clicks, making things more efficient, and saving you time. The fourth and final tool I want to talk about is multi-highlight. Probably the most elementary tool I've ever seen in my life, uh, but I swear by it and I love it. I'm sure many people here have used it or do use it. It highlights the keywords that you're looking for on a page. It, so it's easily discovered that you can type the technologies for any one of your roles. It makes it easier to discover those skills. Why would this be beneficial? Well, if you're looking at just a bulk resume of text, it highlights those words for you. So here's what it looks like in the little Chrome extension right there. It brings down the text box that you can put in. The one drawback of the multi-highlight is that it only gives you single words. You can't put it in quotes and have multiple words. You have to do like one word, space, next word, space, next word. But it makes it much easier to, to find what you're looking for. Like for this, looking for an iOS developer, you'd have this with no highlights. It'd just be a bulk thing of text. You'd have to look through it like, okay, where does it say iOS? What apps has this guy made? So on and so forth. Oh, here they are. Now they're all highlighted and then your eyes go directly to it. So it helps speed up your time, makes it more efficient, more functionality in one screen. And again, that's what I said. So, four tools, that's all I want to talk about tools-wise. I'm going to show some platforms for searching uh, various methods and stuff. Uh, but those are the two things, being more creative, being more efficient, uh, tying it together. And like Nard Dog says, I'm always thinking one step ahead like a carpenter who builds stairs. Uh, so why be different? As I mentioned earlier, uh, it was crowded. LinkedIn was crowded. That was my ATS. Everything I did was in LinkedIn. Uh, it actually turns out that 92% of recruiters at Amazon use LinkedIn as their primary source. I'm not trying to just harp on Amazon, that's where I work. But that's probably a relevant number for most of the community, I would imagine. Uh, there's over 3,500 recruiters at Amazon. That means that 3,220 uh, competitors I have are internal using the same source that I am. So as cool as it is to think outside the box and create different searches on LinkedIn, uh, there's much more you can do with that. So I sat down with a bunch of engineers that I knew, friends that I knew, engineers from, from my company, other companies, talks quite a bit with, okay, you know, where do you spend your free time? Uh, a lot of them talk about open source projects. A lot of them talk about different sites where they can build stuff and share stuff. That brings me to GitHub. Uh, I, I know in the tech community, most people here that have been doing this for a while understand GitHub, maybe use GitHub. The cool thing about SourceCon is that it is that I've been here for, Marvin said he's been to like 11 years worth of SourceCon. Uh, there's other people here that are here for the first time. So I can talk a little bit about some of the tools that I use for GitHub, and it can benefit both sides of that. So for GitHub, it's, uh, there's, there's some lesser known ways to do it, and the reason I'm going to talk about these four uh, is because for those of us that haven't used it, or even do use it, it's very tough to search on GitHub for, for anybody. Like, it's not very user-friendly, especially for recruiters like to use Boolean. Uh, it's not really user-friendly in that regard. Also, when you do get your results, there's things I want to show to enhance that to make it make more sense and stuff that we as recruiters can use. So first, Greg actually talked about Octohunt, and funny enough, this slide is like almost identical to mine, and I didn't talk to him beforehand. Uh, so Octohunt is, is a very cool platform. It allows you to use Boolean strings uh, on, on GitHub, which again, when you're on GitHub, it makes it very tough to search with the search interface they have. So Octohunt makes it much easier for us to do that. And it also gives you direct links to their uh, GitHub account, their uh, personal homepage, also contact information. So here's what it looks like, Octo Hunt. Uh, if you saw Greg's, we almost have like the same search too. Uh, so uh, I, this is just an example, I was looking for real-time communication, uh, people that could build up web RTC, G streamer, and fun stuff. And this is your results, like up there in the top bar, which I didn't highlight in my slide, I should have, uh, shows the search bar, build a Boolean string there, search by location. As well, you'll see that little uh, like suitcase. I don't know if you guys can determine that's a suitcase from there. But it's that little red uh, triangle with the white thing in the middle is the suitcase. That's something they have called available for hire. Uh, it's very similar to uh, LinkedIn. It's open for new opportunities. So that's something very cool to know. Uh, it has auto-scrolling too. So for those of us that are into data scraping, it makes it pretty darn easy to do so. Give you a little data minor plug. Um, Get awards. 
Uh, Git Awards is, is great. It, is essentially, it, it provides the ability to search uh, contributors, users by location, languages, and more. Um, but search the top, the keyword there is top. It, here's the algorithm how it determines that. Let me, that. I'm not gonna go into that, that just shows how it computes this. But this is what it is. You can search any language right up here. This is all the different languages you might be looking for. There's tons, tons, and tons you scroll through for whatever technology you might be looking for. You can also search location. And then, as you can see right there, the different columns says city rank. So for Swift developers, which is, is iOS technology, this individual right at the top is the number one developer in Seattle where I was looking. So maybe you're looking to fill a specific role in a specific location. You can choose the language that you're looking for relative to your role and the location. And then these are the people that are the, the, the most, uh, what's the right word, well-known or top contributors in that location. Awesome information to have. There's a direct link to their GitHub. Uh, it doesn't have uh, auto scroll, but pagination makes it pretty darn easy uh, to enable that and just scrape all the stuff on the page. So get awards, I love it, maybe all the time. You can also search, uh, one thing to cover at the very top of the screen, top users by city, by, by, by country, top users worldwide, lots of different things you can search from there. Uh, GitHub. GitHub is similar to what I just showed with Git Awards, but this is more focused around projects as opposed to individuals, this is more project focused. So it's an application or a Chrome extension uh, that lets you explore the most starred projects on GitHub. Also, uh, actually I'll get, yeah, we'll cover that part. Um, you can look through repositories for any technology you're liking for any period of time. One, it lists instead of the top users, it lists the top projects, like I said. But you can also go by time, periods of time, which are beneficial if you have individuals that you're reaching out to that are currently working on a project or posting a project that's being worked on this week. That's good information to know when you reach out to them. I can't tell you how many times I've found some cool projects, reach out to people, and like, oh, I was working on this two years ago. So this you can sort by technology that's being currently worked on um, as it's records. And this is what it looks like. Uh, quick little snapshot of what the actual, uh, so I mentioned there's a Chrome extension, but there's also a, 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 an application for it. This is what the app looks like as opposed to Chrome extension. Right at the top, you can choose whatever language it is you're looking for, whatever the, the role you're looking to fill. There's the timeline, it's like weekly, it's like monthly, it's like, it's like last year, what have you, and it shows the top rated ones for that time that you're looking for. And then from there, you know what to do. Git logs, uh, this is the other one, um, the fourth one I want to show real quick around GitHub. Uh, Git logs is, I think of it like Wikipedia for GitHub. As I mentioned, it's very tough to search GitHub and get stuff out of GitHub as recruiters that we can deem tangible and use. This makes it much easier to follow. Uh, it's, it's an awesome interface to search GitHub. It has Boolean strings enabled that you can search with. Also, it's updated in real time. So everything happening on GitHub is actively updated and uploaded onto GitLogs. This is what it looks like. Again, I picture kind of the Wikipedia thing, uh, but it, on the left-hand column right there, it's got all the, the context. So whether you're looking for like uh, DevOps or you're looking for database developers or React developers, you click on one of those. It's gonna bring up all these different concepts under it. You click on those and it shows you projects from that area. So again, as a recruiter, that's very helpful because I don't have a comp sci degree. I don't know all these different projects I should be looking for. To follow in this format is much more helpful for me. This is called resource guides. Again, I kind of think of it as a Wikipedia look. Um, you can see repositories as a reference on pretty much any topic. Uh, you can hone your, it's also got a search bar. You can hone and search for things as opposed to just following the workflow this way. But GitLogs is great. I use it today, absolutely love it. Uh, then those are the four things that I use to 